Check this out. Did you see any difference there? Yeah, we do have port lights That's now. so cool, check it out. We have port lights in place. I mean, this one is not 100% yet. But that's what we're gonna talk about today. So, so let's get started. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And for the past year, we have been building our own tiny shipping container house. So we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected. This abandoned sailboat. So we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we are going to go back and finish the house. Well, this is one of those projects that we have been working on for a long time. <laughs> yeah, like four months probably. It's not that we've been working straight every day for the past four months on the port lights. But we have started this job four months ago. Yeah. We could we could have installed it before, but we were afraid of doing it. It's just, you know, when you have like a trick thing to do, you just keep postponing in hopes that you would never need to do it. But of course you need to do it. Yeah, the, the acrylic, or the, the acrylic? Yeah, the acrylic. Had no good seal anymore. And the visibility. The visibility was terrible. There was no visibility. <laughs> so we knew we wanted to exchange the acrylic, but we didn't even know how to take the acrylic off. We need to understand the system, how it was holding in place. So as we wanted, we needed to uh, hire a company to sell us the acrylic, okay. to order the acrylic, we asked them to come to the boat and help us to take off the first port light so we could understand the system. So together we figured out how to take this first port light off. And then we took off the other ones by ourselves because it's cheaper. Yeah, basically <laughs> we wanted only to order the acrylic and from there we would do everything ourselves. Yeah. So we're gonna start with a warm warm up video. It's just a short video clip of us taking off all the port lights and from there we can keep going on this journey of installing new port lights. Well, at this point, all we need to do was to wait. We need to wait for them to cut the acrylic and to make the holes and get them ready to be installed. And we didn't install them for a while. And then once we decided it was time to install the acrylic, we thought it was a smart idea to first dry fit them in place just to make sure to guarantee that we had all the holes on the right position and that we had no mistake. Because if we had any mistake, we could fix before applying Sikaflex. That is a mess, of course. So dry fit it is. So we are trying the port lights in place and we are marking the ones that are not fitting. Yeah, the problem is that some of the holes it might not be aligned with the hole, with the screw hole because it need to be really really precise. So now we're just marking like this one we are not going we are not able to put the screw and screw because it's not straight. So we need to make the hole a little bit bigger. So we're just marking which ones we have problem. Like on that side we have like three ones with problem, the rest is good. So now we need to just pre-install every port light in place and just make sure we are right. Otherwise when we put uh, polyurethane, Sikaflex is going to be a mess. So it's better to know that everything is fitting well before we put Sikaflex. It will make sense when we see us doing it, we're just creating a mess 
so we can cut around and we can tape around and then we can apply Sikaflex. Okay. It's gonna make sense. We need to do now is to create the holes for the screws and then we have one out of eight of those and then we have another 12 for the hatches 12 so that means that we need another 19 after we finish the screws on this one uh, am I with uh, black hair okay old lady with black hair <laughs> from 1920s <laughs> This is just a dry fit to see how it is gonna be when we actually do it. So now she's gonna go outside to try to help because we need to hold this in place right now without Sikaflex because that's just a dry fit. It's gonna be scary to do on the real time but she's gonna try to hold on the outside because we are gonna put the blood here and there. So, all of this work, just to check how it looks on the outside with the rubber in, with the gasket in. So let's go outside and check, because this is just a dry fit to see if the system works, and then it's gonna be a lot harder when, once we apply three layers of PU zip flex polar tape. Let's go outside. So, That's how it looks. I don't know if you can tell, but the gasket is right here. That means we need to give a little bit more space on the lining. Once we finish installing, we are gonna put a Sika Flex around here also, just to guarantee it's sealed. I think it's gonna be look good, but it's gonna be a lot of work, a lot. now is to take all the hatches to the place where we are staying at and do it in a clean place on a table and flat surface no dust where and are we staying at her sister's apartment so her sister apartment has a big table and we can work in a cleaner space because here is a mess you 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 you, you can tell by now that is a mess right here and a lot of dust and everything so it's better to do that in a cleaner space. Safer <laughs> space. <laughs> yeah. So let's bring this all cut it. Can we skip like do yeah. a fast forward? We fast don't need forward, to. but not skip. Yeah, so let's fast this forward. <laughs>
Now we just need to cut this plastic off and to install them in place. That's gonna be the tricky part. <laughs> What's going on? I just want to guarantee that we don't ruin the white paint because it's Sika Flex is really easy to mess things up. So we are just creating a mask with tape just to guarantee we have Sika Flex only where we want. That's the idea. Let the fun begin. Are you ready? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's always scary to do anything with faint chemicals and stuff that we never done before. Because once you start, that's it. You need to go all the way to the end. <laughs> but this first step is actually not the hardest one. You're just gonna apply primer because everywhere we apply Cicaflex. Cicaflex. It's better to have a primer in order to have a good bound and to make sure the water won't go in. So let's do it proper this time because we never used it primer before. You always use without primer, but as you guys know, I guess, if the water comes through the hatch, I mean to the port light, it's gonna go inside of the walls and that's huge trouble. So we, we cannot have that. So we need to guarantee and cross our fingers, no water is gonna get in. So I saw a video yesterday from a guy that works at Sikaflex and he said that we should mix this for 30 seconds. Yeah, by the way, this is primer 209, 206 is for glass, 209 is for acrylic. Before today I had no idea about that. <laughs> we wanted to do that yesterday but the store was out of 209 so we needed to wait because this is not glass, this is acrylic. Yeah. I think it's good. <laughs> Let's do it. So, the guy recommended that we should put some on some glass, not use it straight from the bottle. Because this dries really quick, so we need to keep this close in order not can, to lose. And we can contaminate the, the thing. And this is the liquid, the most expensive liquid I have ever bought. This was. Around. $60 or $70, this is small 250 ml. for the scariest moment so far. <laughs> yeah, that, this is a moment that we've been postponing for a while because these need to be perfect. We cannot have leaks inside of the boat. And even worse, we cannot have leaks inside of the walls. So, but at one point we need to do it. Let's do it then. <laughs> so, just to make sure we know the process. This goes on the top of this. Right? I'm gonna put a bead here, then this goes on the top of this, a bead here, then this goes around like this, screws. Good? Until now it's good. <laughs> uh, water first. <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Seems like a joke, but I'm nervous. <laughs> By the way, Hafa, thanks so much for all the phone calls. Our friend that works with that, we called him like many, many times. <laughs> Just to guarantee we are doing as he said. So let's hope we do the right thing. Mm. 
Second part. So that's the tricky part now. You need to put this in place and try not to make a mess. You want me to help you? No. Mm -hmm. We have a table of screws. Let's hope it's in place. I'm even sweating, I'm nervous. <laughs> Top screws and then next step. Yeah, time lapse. It's going. I'm trying to give the same pressure and leave a little, just a little turn for after it's dry, and then we can go outside. Seems good, see? Let's go outside. Now we need to give an extra bead around here and then we're gonna smooth with the finger. Now the trick to make it really smooth is to use liquid soap, liquid soap for dishing washing, washing dishes. So we do like this and supposedly Supposedly, but too much as usual. <laughs> now, the really, really, really scary moment. As we imagine, this was tough. Yeah, this is a mess. I need to clean myself, otherwise I'm gonna be dirty for days. But this one was not our best job. But I guess by the last one, we're gonna be much better, right? I hope so. Yeah, it's but not we can... pretty actually. No, but we can tape. We can fix a few spots if we need. Today's episode is sponsored by Audible. Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news and comedy. You can listen anytime, anywhere and on any device. You can listen on mobile, on Alexa, on Bluetooth and more. With Audible, you also enjoy easy audiobook exchanges and your own audiobook library you keep forever, even if you cancel. Go to audible.com forward slash oddlifecrafting or text oddlifecrafting to 500 500 and get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. Choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free. This is more than half of the regular price, but this is for limited time only. Yeah, Audible is really good for who lives on boats because a lot of times, I mean, most of the times, we don't have internet access. Like today that we're sleeping on the boat far away from the internet of the marina. So we download in the morning a audiobook and now we can listen to the audiobook on the boat. Yeah, we are listening to Swell by Liz Clark. She is a girl from California that's been living on the sailboat for over 10 years. She is a surfer, so she follow places that she can surf in perfect waves and that's a really good way for us to keep dreaming because we are working so hard on the refit that sometimes it's yeah. good to remember that we have a dream of sailing one day. And, so, and it's also good for our support. 
see the, the light. light. And it's also a good way to keep practicing in English. Yeah, and also when we are working, if we have a time lapse, we might be listening to audiobooks <laughs> because it's just a good way for the time to flow better. Yeah. But now I guess it's time for us to go back to our audiobook. Yeah. For the rail. Looking toward the We see guys tomorrow. See, see you tomorrow. <laughs> it's nearly midnight. <laughs> this was the first one, as you can tell. It's not good at all. We are planning on doing this again, maybe. This was the second one. It's better already. These we did today with light because that one was dark when we did it. It's way better already. And we are doing almost the last one. Yeah, we have two left. The trick is to always do like crossing so you don't you have the same pressure on all the sides. So for example, I screw a little bit this one and then I screw a little bit this one. And then I screw a little bit this one. And then I screw a little bit this one. And then this one. And as this you just get try to get as close as possible of the same pressure together. Now she'll go outside and clean the mess because I just do the mess, she cleans the mess. That's nice Actually, I do a little bit more of mess be before I clean this. <laughs> That's a trick. With the lamp here, she can see on the outside much better all the mistakes. So we use the lamp inside and reviews all the mistakes and then she can fix it and we are good to go. Of course nothing is perfect but that's just the way it is. That's it. It's time to test the seal of our port lights. <laughs> yeah, some people say four hours is enough to cure the Cicaplex. We of course were afraid, so we decided to leave it for like three, four days. Four days instead yeah, of I four like hours. Four, yeah, like four, <laughs> four days instead of four hours. But at least now we can guarantee that the Cicaflex is completely clear, cure. And now we just need to test if the seal is good and, and if the water is going to come through. Yeah. And how are we going to do that? He's going to go outside with the hose and I'm going to be here to check. And, and we are going to film. Two cameras today. <laughs> so I'm going to go outside and look. The best, <laughs> the best of the lunch. Let's hope this worked out. Otherwise, we need to do all over again. But I, I believe it's gonna be fine. But it's scary. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Time for the truth. Sounds good to me, looks good to me. This one now. Let's go inside and see if this was a successful mission. That's an important moment. Tricky one, but important one. Hey baby, it's all fine. So, how did it go? Good. I guess no water is coming in. No. That's a successful mission. Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Congrats. We have port lights now and we have a lot of water on the GoPro. Yeah, but I think that's a wrap, right? Yeah. Now I think... we need to install this. Oh, that's true. So, give us a second. Yeah, so basically this is a three frame system. So that's the metal one that holds the port light in place and then the spacer and then the finishing. We are going to install one in place just so you guys can have the feeling of how it looks and then we are going to leave like this for now because we want to 
just keep an eye for the hatches to see if any leak appear in the next few weeks and then we can close it up. So let's get this together. That's it. Back to the original shape. Way better, right? <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, the boat when we bought was exactly like this. It looked much better, but we couldn't see outside. <laughs> now we can. See, I mean, I can see. She's not high enough. But hey. I can see. I can see. The security guard there. The entry of the marina. <laughs> yeah. One day we're gonna see some clear, fresh, blue water through this. That's the dream. The other good thing about doing this is that slowly we are getting rid of all this stuff spreading around the boat. There are tons of pieces, little pieces of wood around. One day we're gonna get done and <laughs> one day this is gonna look like a living room where we can sit on the table, drink some coffee and you know, the, like a house. It's not, we're not quite there yet but we're slowly getting there. I'm dreaming this this day. <laughs> yeah. But I think for this week it's done, it's just too much, the video is probably really really long already. But before we go, we need to welcome on board our, our new, new patrons. patrons. <laughs> yeah. it's, we, we love this, this time because we get to know people from all different countries and all different places and the family is growing really really quickly, <laughs> that's, that's really good. We are really 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 thankful for everyone that supports the channel. Even who just watched, they, it's a huge support already, so just keep watching. So now, welcome on board Shane, Simon, Nasser, Darius, Greg, Holy, Willie, Kevin And we also want to thank a donation through our PayPal Thanks so much Robert Duncan Thanks so much again <laughs> That's so funny, your name is really really funny <laughs> Robert Duncan yeah. You got the point right? Yeah. So we see you guys Next week See you guys next Monday <laughs>